Hey guys, so video on my latest haul. I have five CDs and two vinyls to show you. I can't wait to get into these and actually do unboxing videos and play them. So I'll show you the first one. That's Chase the Dragon by Magnum. I've actually got this on cassette and I did an unboxing video on my channel, but um, I wanted it on CD and I will look for the vinyl version. Absolutely love what I'm hearing in this band. Um, I've been meaning to fully dip into their back catalogue quite a few times. I have done a video on their latest album, which is on my YouTube channel, if you want to check them out. But I love the cassette, so I thought I've got to get this on CD, and then I will be looking for it on vinyl. So highly recommend this if you like your um, hard rock from Brum, which is where I was born. The next one we have is in Violate, which is the latest studio on my Steve Vai. Um, solo instrumentalist guitarist and he was also his earlier part was um, a part of the Frank Zappa band but then he went left the band and done his solo career and I think it's like 10 12 studio albums or something like that and this is the current one can't wait to get into this and give it a full listen the next one is Monument Hallows Eve this one was originally released in 1988 if I'm right they're Canadian I believe I absolutely cannot remember off the top of my head I usually make a note on my laptop of what the genre I also want to do a video I can um, have a nose and for reference and stuff like that but this one's got four raw live tracks as bonus so you get four extra tracks which is cool don't have this in my collection so it was a no-brainer to pre-order that and get one that in my collection. So next one is Saxon, The Eagle Has Landed Live. Actually one that I don't have in my collection. This is meant to be, as it says, it's their first live release, which was released way back in, was it 1980-something? Or was it something like that? And 88 or something like that? And it said it's, I had a look and it said it was their first live release. So, and this you get the extra... Yeah, the original classic album includes rare bonus tracks, original lyrics, rare photos, and memorabilia. So you get like two, three, six live tracks, which are from Hammersmith Odeon 1981 to 1982 as extras, which is cool. So it was obvious I was going to get that and add that to my collection. And this one is another Saxon. I don't have this one in my collection, and it's in a sense, it's no excuse. So I'm happy to get that one in my collection. And this is the anniversary edition where you get the um, Chopper Studio Thorsby demos and two bonus tracks which is um, a B-side and two B-sides so can't wait to unbox that and actually listen to the CD version I have listened to this album quite a few times digitally I've just never um, got around to getting a physical copy Back on the Streets is a great track I do have the earlier parts, like all the 80s and whatnot of Saxon. I just need the, and the latest studio album, Carpe Diem Baby, on pre-order. I just need to get their later stuff and add it to my um, collection. Then we have two vinyls to show you. The first one is Relea. Yes, absolutely love prog rock, and I've been dipping more into the earlier stuff of this band. Absolutely love it, so actually can't wait to listen to this album plus track one because it's on for 20 something the gates of delirium it's on for like 20 something minutes this was released in 1974 so absolutely can't wait this was in hmv for something like six pound on cd but i looked on ebay and i found it i do have the cd version turning up but this was somewhat like 11 quid on vinyl so i thought i'm gonna add that to my collection like a shot then the last final is absolutely fantastic. I've been waiting since November for this because I've just been waiting for it to turn up and it was meant to be November, but obviously because of COVID and all that sort of stuff, it's been delayed. But this one, oh, I can't wait to get into it and listen to the vinyl version. It's actually the extended version, so you get extra tracks and it's a Christmas album. For anybody who likes Christmas albums, I don't really, not really, overly bothered about Christmas music and that sort of stuff but this is fantastic Swedish power metal band um, his name is just Tommy Johansson which is the lead guitarist of 
Sabaton. They released their first album, Above the Sky, Majestica, and this is his second one, which is a Christmas album, which is called A Christmas Carol, which is probably the best Christmas album ever made. Absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to listen to the vinyl version and see what it actually sounds like on vinyl. I really can't wait, so eager to get into that. So yeah, um, that's my latest haul. I have done a video on that Majestica on CD, and it's on my YouTube channel somewhere. So if you look through there, I done an unboxing video on the CD version so yeah this is my that was my latest haul of um, five CDs and two vinyl I've got some more turning up during the week so probably next week I'll have another latest haul video so now I'm about to do videos on all of them and then thoroughly enjoy them I've just unboxed um, quite a few CDs as you can see so now I'm gonna go and enjoy them so I'll see you in the next unboxing video so take care and stay safe Remember to like and subscribe as well, just, you know, there's probably loads of videos on there that you may enjoy, unboxing videos and me talking about my favourite bands and stuff, so see you in the next video, take care and stay safe.